Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the input value from an input box in React. Now here I have my basic React application running in browser with an input box that's just saying hello there. So the way React works is every single value that is dynamic has to be defined using the use state hook. And so we're going to define the value for our input box by using the state variable. So I'm going to name it val and provide the setter function set val. And I'm going to use the use state hook with the default value of hello there. Now in our input element, I'm going to change this to our value that I just created instead of using just the text. So this makes our input value dynamic. Now in React, input components cannot be changed by simply typing into them as if it was a regular HTML because it's dynamically wired to our state variable. So to demonstrate how dynamic values work in input elements in React, I'm going to create another button and when I click on it, I want to run a function. So I'm going to define that function. I'm going to call it click and we're going to call this function every time the button is clicked. So I'm going to go ahead and output the value with a simple alert. And so here we're going to output the state value val. Now we need to add this function handler to the on click event in the button itself. And in the brackets here, simply type its name without parentheses. And so now I'm going to run this app in the browser and when I click on the button, you will see that the value is hello there. So at this point, you might say we got the value of the input box in React, but the funny thing is if I try to type anything in the input box right now, nothing will happen. The text will not change. In order to handle simple text input in React, we need to add the onChange event to the input element itself, the input component. So on change equals brackets and I'm going to create another function that will be called whenever the input box changes. I'm going to call it change. And so I'm going to go ahead and add it to the on change handler in the input component. And so because this is on change event, it's a special event that will actually pass the event object into our change function. If you don't believe that, I'm going to show you how that works. So rename that to event and inside this function we can refer to this click event. So I'm going to go ahead and just output it and now when I actually try to type inside the input box I get this alert showing that this is an object, the event object. So to update our input value what you want to do is extract it from the event object and actually it's not value it's also target that value so the entire thing is event dot target that value and if you type in the input box now you will see that we're actually displaying the input box value plus the letter which is typed so it's a new updated value so because event target that value represents the new value that we just typed into the input box we want to assign it back to the value in our state. And so one way of doing that is turning event.target.value into a variable. Let's say const new value equals event target value. And then I'm going to use the set val function to assign this new value to the value in our input box. So I'm going to do it like this. And actually we don't really need a new variable we just can directly set the value to this property. So this actually enables me to freely type into our input box and this text will appear as it would regularly appear in any other JavaScript input box. When I click on the button it will show me the value that was just typed. And so this is the construct required for enabling input in text boxes in React. And basically this is how you get input value in React.